In this lecture, you are going to learn how to chain multiple middleware functions for the same route. So, up until this point, whenever we wanted to define a route, we only ever passed one route handler function. Now, we have learned that a route handler is basically a middleware function. For example, for this post route here, we are passing this create movie as the route handler function. And we have learned that a route handler function is basically a middleware function. That means this create movie here is a middleware function. And to this post method, we are only passing one middleware function. That means whenever a user makes a post request to this URL, basically to slash API slash V1 slash movies, in that case, this create movie middleware function will be called. In the same way, if a user makes a patch request to this URL, basically to slash API slash V1 slash movies, and then this ID parameter. So if he provides the value for the ID parameter in that URL, in that case, this update movie route handler function will be called. And again, this update movie route handler function is also a middleware function. So up until this point, whenever we have defined a route, we have only passed one middleware function to it. But let's now say that we have a requirement where we want to execute multiple middleware functions for a given route. For example, let's say we have this post route. Currently for this post route, we are only passing one middleware function. So whenever a user will make a post request to slash API slash V1 slash movies, this middleware function will be called and the logic inside this middleware will be executed. So basically this create movie middleware function will create a movie object inside this movies.json file. But let's say instead of directly creating a movie object by this create movie middleware, before this middleware, we also want to call some other middleware. So let's say we have received a post request on the server for creating a movie object. But before we call this create movie route handler function, before we call this middleware, we want to check if we have received any body with the post request or not. And if we have a body with that post request, whether that body contains a movie name and release year for that movie or not. So for example, currently if I go to this postman and there if I go to this create movie request, let's say here I want to make a post request to create a new movie object. So for that with the request body, we need to pass some data. But if I don't pass any data, so let's say I remove this movie object from here and here also I select none. So now what we are doing is with this post request, we are not sending any body with the request. Okay, so here if I click on this send button, you will notice that even though we have not passed any body with the post request, a movie object has been created with this ID 9. And in that movie object, we only have this ID property. And this is not the behavior which we want. What we want is whenever a user tries to create a movie object, First, we want to check whether that movie object contains a name and release year or not. So let's say for a movie object, the name and release year is mandatory fields. So only if the request body contains a movie object and in that movie object, we have a name and release year property, then only that movie object should be created and it should be saved in the movies.json file. Otherwise, we want to return a 400 status code in the response, which means bad request. Now, we are not going to do the validation of the request body inside this create movie middleware because this create movie middleware is responsible for creating a movie object inside this movies.json file. And I don't want to give any other responsibility to this create movie middleware. This create movie middleware should be responsible for a single task that is creating a movie object in the movies.json file. To do the validation on the request body which comes with the post request, we can create another middleware and we can run that middleware before this create movie middleware. So the body which we are receiving with the post request, if that body is valid, then only this create movie middleware should be executed. Otherwise, this middleware should not be called. So let's first go ahead and let's first create a middleware which will validate the request body which will come with the post request. So let's go to this moviescontroller.js file. Here, we are creating this middleware inside this moviescontroller.js because this middleware should only be applied on the movies route. Okay, so here on the exports object, let's create a new middleware and let's call it validate body. To this, let's assign a function and this function is going to receive a request object, 
a response object and the next function. And inside this function, let's write an if statement. And inside that if statement, let's check if request body, if it does not have a name field. So here I will use this not operator. So basically, if the request body does not have a name field, in that case, this expression will return false. And on that, we are using this not operator. So it will make it true. Then let's also use this or operator. And there, let's say, if request body, if it does not contain the release here, and here also I will use this not operator. Okay, so if the movie object does not contain a name property or if it does not contains a release year property, that means that movie object is not a valid movie object. So from here, we want to return a response. For that, I am going to use this JSON method. And before that, let's also set the status code for that response. So here, the status code is going to be 400. That means bad request. Okay, and using this JSON method, we want to return a response. We want to return a JSON response. And inside that, we want to have a status property and let's set it to fail. And then we also want to have a message property and we want to set this message to, let's say, not a valid movie data. Okay, and once this response is sent, we also want to return from here. So for that, let's also use this return keyword. Otherwise, if the request body contains the name property as well as the release year property, that means the movie object is a valid movie object. In that case, we want to call the next middleware in this stack. Okay, so this validate body middleware is going to validate the request body which will come with the post request to this route. Okay, so what we want is when a post request is made to this route, before executing this create movie middleware, we want to execute this validate body middleware. And to do that, all we have to do is before we are specifying this create movie middleware, before that, let's also specify this validate body middleware. So here on this movies controller, we have a method called validate body. Okay, so now when a post request will be made to this route, first of all, this validate body middleware will be called. Now in the validate body middleware, we are first checking if the request body contains a name and the release year or not. If it does not contain the name or release year property, in that case, this JSON object will be sent in the response and the function will return. But if the request body contains a name and release year property, in that case, this next method will be called. And this next method will then call the next middleware in the stack. In this example, it will call this create movie middleware. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's quickly verify this. Let's save the changes here. Let's also save this moviescontroller.js file. Now let's go to Postman. And here, let's try to create a movie object without specifying the body for the post request. If I click on this send button, you will see that in the response, we have received this status code 400, which is bad request and status is fail and message is not a valid movie data. But in the request body, if I specify a valid movie object, and a valid movie object will be that movie object which has this name property and the release year property. So this movie object has both name property and the release year property. So it is a valid movie object. In that case, this movie object should be created in the movies.json file. If I click on the send button, you will see that that movie object has been created with ID 10. If I go to VS code and if I go to movies.json, there we should have a new movie object with the ID 10. Okay, so this is working as expected. But if I go back to Postman and there, if I try to create a movie object without a name property and when I click on the send button, it should not create that movie object because without a name property, that movie object data is not a valid movie object. In the same way, if I try to create a movie object without a release year property, in that case, that movie object should not be created because without a release year property, the movie object is not a valid movie data. So in that case also, in the response, we are receiving this status code 400, which stands for bad request. So again, what's happening here is, whenever a user is making a post request to slash API slash v1 slash movies, in that case, first, this validate body middleware will be executed. In the validate body middleware, it is checking if the request body contains a name property and the release year property. If it does not contain any one of these properties, in that case, this response will be sent. 
but if it contains both of these properties in that case this next function will be called and the next middleware in the stack will be called the next middleware in the stack is this create movie middleware so this middleware function will be called but if the request body does not contains a name or the release year property in that case this json data will be sent in the response and it will immediately return from this middleware function so this next function will not be called that means here this create movie middleware will not be called so this is what is called as chaining of middlewares here we are chaining two middlewares and these middlewares will be executed in the order in which they are defined here and in this way we can have multiple middlewares and all those middlewares will be executed one after the other now we are going to use this kind of logic of chaining multiple middlewares for the same route a lot when working with express for example let's say in the same post request before validating the body we can also check the user who is trying to create the movie object whether that user is logged in or not so for that we can create another middleware that should execute before this validate body middleware in the same way we can also check if that particular user if he is logged in if he has privilege to create a movie object or not okay so that can be another middleware which should run after the login middleware and if the user has the privilege then only this validate body middleware should run and if the body is valid then only this create movie middleware should run so we are going to use this kind of logic of chaining multiple middlewares together a lot when working with express js and you will see that throughout this course this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day